Good morning, YouTube. It is bright and early here in Southeast Michigan. It's about 5.59 a.m., I think. First day of summer vacation for my boy T-Dog back here. Hi. For the first day of summer vacation, I told him I would get up and go carp fishing with him before school started. So that's what we're gonna go do. Uh, they haven't been hitting as well the last couple days. So I'm hoping when it's a little chilly now in the, in the morning that they might be hitting better than they were at night the last couple nights. So hopefully we're gonna get some good footage of catching carp and show you how we do it. All right, here we go. Okay, we arrived at our destination here. We're on the Huron River in Milford, Michigan. We've had some good luck in this river. Uh, Sunday night, we caught six, landed five. Uh, in the meantime, since then, we've caught another two. And here we are on Friday. We're gonna try it again, nice and bright and early. So we're gonna be using what's called the method. And that's using a pack bait. And we're gonna pack it onto a, a holder on our line. It's gonna be a flexible weight or not flexible, but a slide weight that holds your bait. And then we're gonna use corn on a hair rig. That seems to be what's working for us. Our pack bait that we're using is a mixture of Wheaties, uh, cream style corn and bird seed. And we're gonna give it a try, get these rods in the water, see how we do. So we're using what's known as a hair rig. Just pick these up at Amazon. It's called hair rigs. It's just a section of line. Here, here's how it looks. Section of line, it's like a leader with a hook on the end. And then there's the line that goes below the hook and it's got a knot on it. So then it comes with this tool. It's got a little needle and a hook on it. You just put some corn through here, hook it on, slide it on, and then you're ready to go. Here's our pack bait holder. So it's a sliding weight. This one is 34 grams, I think. Uh, sliding weight, you just pack your, your stuff on, and here's our pack bait. So I'll show you how to bait the hook. So I'm just gonna use three pieces of corn. So you just poke it through. So it's just like threading a needle, kind of. Or putting a needle through some cloth, I guess. Alright, so you poke it through. Then you've got this hook on the end. You got a little loop on the line. And just slide it down. There's a knot. And the knot is designed to keep the corn from sliding off. They also come with these little plastic clips. You can slide those on between the knot and your corn to keep your corn from coming off. So you got that. So our pack bait is a mixture of Wheaties cereal, bird seed, and cream style corn. So you just reach in your bag, you make a nice lump of it, and pretty much just squish it onto here. So, the idea is that it's just gonna lump on here and it's gonna be a source of food that it's gonna, and a smell to bring the fish and then they're gonna go for your corn. Now some people like to shove their, their hook down inside the pack bait. That's what you're supposed to do. I don't really like that method because sometimes the pack bait doesn't break up as fast as it should in the water. The idea is that it starts to dissolve over a couple minutes and fall apart and then you're your hook and your corn is sitting in the middle of a, a debris field. But I've had it where the pack bait didn't come apart or the hook got stuck on the, the webbing part of the pack bait and my bait's out there for 30 minutes. I reel it in and I realized my hook was never even exposed. So I'll try this one like that. But for the most part, I think just having my corn close to the area is good enough. This I've had more trouble with this than it was worth to stick the hook in. So we'll get this one in the water and see how that one goes. Okay, I got my pack bait on, got my corn. So I'm gonna cast towards this train tunnel. We've hit quite a few over there. Give myself a little slack. And I made these rod holders just out of fence pipe. Got my drag set real light, so if they catch, uh, if I get one on, it can run. Then I always put a bell on the end of the rod so we can hear if we get a strike or not. Here's my bell. Ring, ring, ring. All 
All right, bell's on. Time to let that sit. Check my bait in about 20 to 30 minutes and gonna get another couple rods set up. Here we go. Between me and T-Dog, we've got five rods in the water. We got all set up with our pack bait. We've got a bell on each of the rods and we got our coffee. Just gonna sit here and wait now. They had our lines jiggle a little bit a couple times. It had a couple bells jingle a little bit, but no real strikes yet. But we know they're in the area. We've actually seen them. So now it's a matter of waiting and we'll check our bait in about 20 minutes, see how we do. But hopefully we get a strike before then. All right, got a fish on. Got a carp. Uh-oh, we got a problem here. Did it get off? Or is it swimming with me? Nope, it's on there. Oh, spit the hook. Oh, man. Had one on. Dag nabbit. Oh, I was fighting and it spit the hook. All right, time to reload my bait. All right, so we're back here at the uh, Huron River in Milford. The Friday morning excursion. Got one on, spit the hook, and that's, that's all we managed to get. Had to cut it short a little bit early had to get to work so now back out here on sunday night gonna try it again i've got four pack baits and hooks set up hair rigs all in the water just uh waiting for some strikes now i've had a little bit of nibbling not sure if it's carp or something else but it, inside of 10 minutes of having my bait in the water i already had bells jingling so we're gonna try it again tonight hopefully we actually get something to get on camera for you all all right here we go all right see the lines dancing a little bit Bell jingling a little. Something's messing with it. It could just be a bluegill. There we go. There we go. That's a carp. There we go. Nice big carp. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's a master angler carp right there, folks. All right, got carp on. Got one on. Here we go. It's kind of small.
Ani Tesla. There we go. Another carp. Well, folks, not the greatest night of fishing. So I got two. One was 32 inches, which is over Master Angler. Master Angler is, I believe, 30.5 inches for a common carp. Uh, state of Michigan. Actually, I might have a fish on right now. I'm getting a bite on this rod. But I didn't get any good pictures of the 32. Uh, it was out of the water for a while. I needed to get it back in. So I got some crappy pictures with the ruler. Uh, tape measure. I don't know if the state will accept those pictures or not because it doesn't show the whole fish I've got like the front half and the back half not all at once my pictures turned out terrible So I don't know if that's gonna qualify. Um, I ended up having to break off twice. I got hooked on the bottom I lost uh, one Two hair rigs and one pack bait getting hooked on the bottom and I had one big whopper on uh, It was really fighting and then all of a sudden BAM it was just gone and I got hooked there's something in the water under this tunnel that I keep getting hooked on over and over and over again. I'm going to end up wading out there one of these days with shoes on and even dive down if I have to and figure out what it is. And if it's a tree or something, maybe I can pull it out because this is getting old, getting hooked on. Uh, one other thing, I was pulling in one of my lines. Look at this crap. Looks like an ink cartridge, I believe, covered in zebra mussels here in the Huron River. Oh, here we go. Oh, just got off while I was taking the bell off. Come on. Anyway, like I was saying, look at that, an ink cartridge. People, don't litter in the water. Come on. Anyway, I'm going to rebate this hook and give it probably another 10 minutes and call it a night. Here's some previous catches we've gotten in the same stretch of the Huron River. So anyway, if you like our content, please give us a like, comment, subscribe. We sure do appreciate it. And get out there fishing. Take your kids out fishing. Have some fun with it. Anyway, again, like, comment, subscribe. We sure do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.